And now for the Monero development segment. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's going on, man? Well, you, you know what's going on. I I told you in Telegram, but other than that, I'm I'm fine. I got a cold. Oh, you have a cold? Yeah, kind kind of. Oh no! All right. Well, uh, I hope you feel well enough to do this. And I guess you had some issues with it, with your with your hardware. Uh, no, it's it's a shop that I bought my Galaxy Watch from. You know, oh, okay. I, I I basically got scammed with the the European uh, fourteen days return rights. Okay. Well, so wait, so they never sent it to you? Is that what happened? No, so I, I bought it, and I decided that I wanted to switch to Apple. Please don't blame me. <laughs> and uh, I sent it back with a 14 days uh, return right. And oh, okay. it, it was 100% uh, cleaned, uh, everything, and, and it's a GSM. So they probably don't want you to send back products because they lose profit on that. And... Uh, they said that it was muddy and stuff, and yeah, they were trying to uh, um, how do I say this? They, they trying were trying to they were trying to deduct uh, money from the original uh, price that I paid for it. Mm. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, so now I have to go around uh, talking to. Uh, national uh, organizations and police stuff. So it it, if it it will take a few months Jeez. to get this sorted out. God. And right, well, they and they also broke. Go ahead. Sorry. And they also broke my GDPR rights. <laughs> mm, they invaded. They invaded your 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 privacy. Um, they recorded my voice in a voice call uh, without notificating me about it, nor uh, did they ask for permission. Mm. Not, not surprised there. I'm sure that happens <laughs> all the time. Sadly. Yeah, that's hey, that, that's that's the world we live in, man. That's why we've been era, right? Um, yeah. What what is uh, what do you have for us today? What is the Spackles project? So, uh, Speckle XMR, uh, as we know from uh, Matrix, uh, he's contributed, uh, I think, twice already, but uh, this is the pr uh, project of him that I chose. So, basically, it, uh, it's an uh, alternative to Pocket Change. Uh, as you see my screen, uh, this is a uh, mention from him. So, he saw the concerns with... Uh, People voicing over pocket change and wanted to offer an alternate uh, that could address the central issues with uh, uh, being somewhat convenient. Uh, what he wrote is a much less convenient version than pocket change, but it's a straightforward uh, one for a user. He's comfortable running an RPC and, of course, using Python because it's built built in Python. So it's it's a new version of Pocket Change. No, it's an alternative. Alternative version. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Let us let us know all about it. So if I find my cursor, uh, so uh, this is just an explanation of Monero outputs for uh, people who didn't don't know. Uh, do you want me to show this, or uh, we can skip it and uh, you just put it in the description? Yeah, you could quickly explain. Sure. Yeah. So basically, Monero has uh, outputs, for example, uh, like change uh, in your wallet. Uh, and every transaction that you send uh, compares what kind of outputs you have. For example, if you want to send a, a one Monero transaction, but you only have, a, only have two half Monero uh, outputs, then it takes both of your outputs and and you don't have any change because you sent a full Monero. But for example, if you want to send uh, two Moneros and you have uh, one and a half and one and a half Moneros, you send two outputs, uh, one of which you are going to get back uh, one Monero change because you sent uh, in total three Monero. 
So, uh, usually Monero has uh, transactions with one input and uh, two outputs, uh, and this makes it uh, so people blend in very well. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you send more outputs, you are going to get a larger ring size, but then you basically compromise yourself as you, you don't blend in the crowd. So uh, it, he has three scripts, a uh, fracture, a consolidate, uh, and a churn uh, Python script. Fracture uh, does uh, what I wrote here. So it takes a wallet with one output and uh, uh, breaks it into 16 outputs with independent, independently timed uh, one in and two output transactions with a matching decoy uh, selection of maximum three days, which covers 60% of the decoy distribution. Uh, running this script for one week, uh, uh, a one output wallet will be broken into 16 outputs, as said, uh, and it, it isn't uh, traceable as uh, it's, it doesn't break it into six outputs immediately, but over time. Uh, moving on to churn. Uh, this is basically a simplified version of fracture uh, without splitting the outputs. Uh, I, I see your face. Uh, are you not getting something or? Uh, <laughs> I'm reading. No, I'm reading as you talk. Go ahead. Um, uh, the churn uh, takes the uh, outputs and churns them uh, with the same approach and timing uh, as Fracture. And uh, Wallet with 10 av available outputs uh, with this script uh, running for a week, uh, a user will have 10 outputs at the end, but uh, the churn churns them at least twice over time, over, over the one week. So effectively, what what is the difference between this and pocket change? Like, uh, and if you could simplify it, I don't know. I know it's a tough question. Mm, I think uh, Speckle would be better simplifying it. Uh, to be honest, I don't get why he thinks that this is uh, a more better approach of it mm. for uh, starter starter Mon Monero users. But I'm sure he can answer maybe in the uh, viewers section uh, segment of uh, Monerotopia. Oh, okay, he's with us today. Uh, I think I I will ask him in Element uh, after my segment. Oh, cool. Yeah, if he wants to jump up. Sure. Sure. Uh, moving on to consolidation, consolidate the dot Python script. Uh, it's almost specific, specifically made for uh, people users slash miners because it uh, takes an X amount of out outputs under a small uh, amount of bits and uh, basically combines them uh, over time for you so you don't have to uh, do it yourself uh, and and you don't have to mess with the fees uh, with consolidation prices. Uh, the small amount uh, which I mentioned is uh, by default 0.001 XMR, and uh, it targets uh, to consolidate balances uh, of each output to 0.01 XMR. Uh, yeah. There is no weekly measure for it, for this. Uh, P2 uh, users can run this forever, and they will have better handle over their money instead of messing with uh, such little outputs. Moving, moving into the usage of it, uh, there's, of course, three files that I mentioned. Uh, one second. So we have a uh, churn, the consolidate, and the fracture.py here. Uh, if we, if we uh, see uh, RPC user and RPC password va variables, uh, they have a user and a password value. Uh, currently, the user has to paste their user and password of their RPC uh, here in the files, but I, I will make an update to them. So there is a, an account that J JSON that replaces these values, and uh, you just need to uh, put your credentials there. OK. 
Okay. Uh, then you need to do, need to download the latest Python from their official site, python.org. Uh, for Windows users, I don't recommend download, downloading Python from a Microsoft Store because it's uh, really outdated. I think it's Python 7.3, which is there, and we are, I think, at 3. Point, no, sorry, 3.7. And realistically, the latest is about 3.11, I think. So it's it's a bit old. Uh, for Linux and macOS users, uh, you need to open a terminal interface. And for Windows, you need to open a command prompt. Then uh, you type pip, or uh, if it doesn't work, uh, pip3. Sometimes it gets, gets messed up by the path. Uh, install Python uh, slash, uh, sorry, uh, dash one RPC. And uh, you start a script by typing python3 uh, script name.py. And uh, after that, basically, if you've entered the credentials into the file, you are already using the script. Uh, you, you just need uh, to wait for it to churn, fracture, or consolidate the uh, outputs of yours. Uh, the credits of him I or already showed, but uh, it's this GitHub link if anyone wants to see, use the scripts. Very I, cool, very cool. Tuck, Tuck, do you got any uh, technical questions? No, I'd just be curious about the what's, yeah, the main difference of this implementation versus pocket change. I'm not, maybe it's um, the how often it happens and how spread apart it is or something. Uh, but I'm not sure. 